is this generation more susceptible to bullies than generations past? Unbelievable stories ranging from seniors collecting all your provisions the first day you get to school to some seniors actually forcing students, junior students, to have sexual relations with them. When I was in boarding house, there was ah. a, a senior that flogged me and my whole nail. Oh, oh wow! My neck wow. literally came off. See, it was no joke. It was no joke. What was she flogging you with? It was this big fat stick. I mean, it was. Hello, and welcome back to Table Talk Niger. On this episode, we'll be touching on a topic that's been a source of great pain to many families in Nigeria and across the world. Oh. Way too many families have lost loved ones to suicide, secondary to bullying. So much so that bullying could easily be the new talk that parents have to have with their teenagers in the 21st century. But the real question is though, um, why is this generation more susceptible to bullies than generations past? Because bullying is not new. Mm. Mm. What do you think? Is it? Is it yeah, no, I, I'm an 80s child. Okay. And oh, so am I. Mm -hmm. So if you grew up in the 80s or even the early 90s, mm -hmm. um, bullying was common. But the main difference, I'll say, is that they had to be in close proximity to you. They had yeah. to be there to, you. to bully. Mm -hmm. They had to know you to mm -hmm. bully you. Mm -hmm. um, and back then, it was it was pretty common. But we really didn't, we didn't call, call it bullying. bullying. Um, yeah, it, it just I mean. It was just stuff they did to you. Yeah, we thought they were yeah. just mean people. Shout out to my Nigerified boarders. Like if mm -hmm. you went to primary school or secondary school in Nigeria and you were a boarding student, you would know what we're talking about. Like, right. Unbelievable stories ranging mm -hmm. from seniors collecting all your provisions the first day you get to school to some seniors actually forcing students, junior students, to have sexual relations mm -hmm. with them. I know, I've had real life story. What? Yeah. Ridiculous things that happened and um, if if you if you probably went to like a boti private school, well, bros or sister, <laughs> find a place <laughs> and sit down. Take self because, seats because this will may not mm -hmm. resonate with you unless of course you had neighborhood you know agro that baptized you into the fellowship yeah, when you came back home. But, <laughs> right. But this is this is a serious thing. Bro. Oh my god! From taking your food, taking your shoes, taking your clothes. I mean, it's there ridiculous. was the list was endless yeah. to what the apprentice that did. We're really like you literally like you, you, you stop being your mother's lucky and nanny and house girl and everything at home and by the time you got on your school grounds you became somebody's <laughs> nanny somebody's house girl somebody's house boy i mean trust me i remember one episode that i had uh -oh. there was this guy that was terrorizing me in boy this boy mm -hmm. he was terrorizing me in school and one day my mother showed up sure. <laughs> and shredded the life out of him. And if you know my mother, she don't play. Mm -hmm. Anybody who knows, she no, 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 she don't. She, she, she meant business. She gave him like, the speech of, I my daughter to like find that. you, mm -hmm. I will hunt you down. I will, he, no, she gave him the Ted. Dude was literally scared. Yeah. And I've seen, I have, I've seen him since that episode. I mean, because this was when I was in primary school and we have known him through you know, primary school, secondary, mm. university. Mm. He didn't used to interact with me after that. Oh, shit. Go your way, I go my way. Mm. It's better that mm. mm. way. Mm. Mm. Yes. And, and my, my case was particularly interesting because I went to um, boarding school when I was eight. I was very young, like two to four years older than my regular classmates. And, you know, they, they I was a very, you know, easy target. They'd be like, you're this small girl, you can't talk to me like that. And I'd be like, wait, wait, wait. Uh -uh. When they rang a bell for school, for people to come to school, where were you? Mm -hmm. I came to school early, you did not. It's not my fault. But I only had that courage though because I had two older cousins in that school. Oh. And so they had my back. You were spoiled. I was spoiled. Right? You were spoiled. And I know spoiled. you were like that because like, they would talk, they would, talk, like, they would talk back. <laughs> and in the moment you want to do something, <laughs> ah, it's my cousin. It's my cousin. <laughs> you were that kind of child. I was. Okay. I was. But I got away okay. with it because I right. was no bully and I was a, an easy target. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, in today's world, bullying is nothing to laugh about no. and in retrospect um these children are brutal <laughs> yeah i'll i'll say that you know yes we did go through that but mm -hmm. right now you don't need they don't need to be next to you 
to bully you. That's true. They could be miles away and bully yeah. you from the privacy of your own home. Yeah, your own very private bedroom. They yes. follow you in there. Children mm. these days are more sinister and more violent than we ever were in our own generation. Mm. Sadly though, it's not only children that are being bullied these days, even adults. Adults bullying other adults. It's faceless, nameless, cowards hide cowards. behind uh, you know, the internet to call other people names. Right. Don't do that. That's just, right. that, that's just cowardice. Right, right. And while yes, we, we, we agree that there is that epidemic of bullying and there yeah. is, it, it, it's, people. It's, it's become, you know, this, this wave that is driving, you know, suicide is on the optic. Mm. There, there is, there is a that's lot of sad. harm that has come from bullying. I do have to say that there is something to be said about this current generation mm. that they don't have that resilience to deal with stress and stressful life situations. And while I'm not trying, we, we can't, we're not attempting to give a solution like, to any of this. One size fits or, all. No, there's yeah. no one size fits all solution to this problem. But something that I'd have to say is that, you know, smooth seas never make for great sailors. No. So, how come it is that in this generation, especially the youth, um, the teens, they don't seem to have that emotional stability, that emotional strength, that resilience to deal with, with the stress, the failures, yeah. and the curveball that they're life brings. Broken. I mean, real life situations, they're, yeah, they're, yeah, easily, they're just easily they're broken. Fragile. And <clears throat> the thing is, though, we all agree that these um, bullies are hurt people. Hurt right? people, hurt people. Hurt people, hurt people. And and we're not about to change them, right? This mm -hmm. episode is not about these bullies. You know? mm -hmm. It's not about changing bullies or mm -hmm. changing their minds. But mm -hmm. what we can do is to, to impact or change the people around us. Right. Our wards, our siblings, our children. Like, you know, make a commitment to raise survivors today. True. Like, it's it's important that we reinforce you know good messages before we send these children. You know, I yes. remember you yes. telling me about how your parents yes. reinforced how True. So, I mean, back in my house growing up, my parents always enforced that we were beautiful, we were, we were smart, intelligent. We were intelligent. Exactly. So, when so I we, went out, you couldn't tell me I was would, ugly and then no, I'll come crying. You'd be like, no. no, I'm not. You couldn't tell me I was no. dumb or stupid and then no. we. No, because that was what on my back you do yourself. The you foundation. Know? Right, because I had that, that I had that internal system that had already been built up. So I was I was able to withstand those things. Yeah. And now I feel like we can do that we for can. children these days. We can yeah. do that for you. You can do that for your siblings. You yeah. can do that for your friends. Your you can friends. do that for your neighbor's child, for your friend's child. Yeah. You, and we start early too. And start it doesn't early. even have to be a child. You can do that for an for adult, adult that's struggling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We true. can that's help true. them to be more Help them see that like these bullies yes. are just hurt people and we don't have to fall victim right. to these people. So true, so true. Yeah. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us this week on Table Talk Nigeria. And we'll be back next week with something interesting, something exciting, something new. And please share with us your your stories, your boarding house stories. We want to hear those yeah. horrible, terrible things that I happened know. to that you. That one was real, though. That, that, Seriously, it, it, no, it was real. True, this true, true. Like, it was real. This, I mean, I, I know that get I, when I was in boarding house, there was huh. a, a senior that flogged me and my whole nail. Oh, oh wow! My neck wow. literally came off. See, it was no joke. It was no joke. What was she flogging you with? It was this big fat stick. I mean, it was. It was. Oh wow! Crazy. Yes. Okay. So no jokes, but share okay. your stories. Yes. Um, share anything that you feel that has helped you to overcome. Subscribe. Yes. Like, like, comment, share, subscribe. And be nice. Be yes. nice. Share love. Share love. Till so we come your way again. Bye bye. bye.